Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen CQ Racing, and today I'm going to show you how I build and assemble my differentials for my Mugen MBX7R buggy. I start by taking some of the Mugen premium grease and apply a little bit to a clean bag or piece of plastic. And then I just take the two diff o rings, make sure you get a lot of grease all around the inside and outside of the O-ring. And then from there, take the grease and apply it to the inside of the diff cup where the outdrive goes, as well as the ring gear, and then also both outdrives. And the outdrives, there's a little groove for the grease to go. This just helps ensure that the silicone fluid doesn't seep out and then cause the outdrive to seize to the ring gear. So don't be afraid to put too much grease. It's almost the more the better. You just want to make sure that gives it a good seal so everything fits nice and none of the fluid seeps out. So then you'll take outdrive, install it into the ring gear, and then also into the diff cup. Just work the outdrive a little bit just to make sure that the grease works itself around in there. Insert the O-ring and then the washer. You want to make sure that the washer is pushed down evenly. That way it helps just get the O-ring set into the ring gear and the diff cup. Then you can go ahead and put the gasket on. I always like to make sure that the gasket holes line up with the ring gear holes. It just makes it easier with the final step. Then you can go ahead and drop in one of the gears, cross pin with gears, and then with this you just want to make sure that the cutouts on the cross pin match up to where they lock into one another. I always like to then apply a little bit of pressure to the cross pins and just work the out drive to make sure that everything moves freely. Then you take your diff fluid. And I like to start by filling the diff in the slots where the cross pins go. And then continue on to fill the main part of the diff cup. I get questions a lot of times about how much fluid to put in the diffs. And I know a lot of people are just kind of reference is to take the diff fluid just to the bottom or to the top of the cross pins. I actually like to put a little bit more fluid in that and then I'll show you how I wipe the diff off and make sure that you have the right amount of diff fluid. So I'll let that sit just for a few seconds, let the oil settle, any air bubbles come to the top, and then if needed, add just a little bit more fluid So then I'll take the last gear, drop it on inside, kind of work it around, make sure that it's the mesh, it meshes up with the other gears. Again, let it sit for five to 10 seconds just so that the oil can settle. And then I'll just take with my index finger and push down and swipe it across the top of the diff case and that'll take any of the excess oil and make sure that the diff is completely full but not too full. I'll repeat that step one more time just to make sure there's no excess oil. Kind of wipe around the outside just to make sure that it's clean. And then the final step is just to install the ring gear 
onto the diff cup, making sure that the outdrive pin is keyed into the gear. And then you can just go ahead and secure the four screws. And when I apply or when I install these four screws, you don't want to crank this like one screw down all the way. You, you'll go ahead and get it to where it's just starting to get snug and then install the second screw across from the first screw. That way that the ring gear isn't cocked or at an angle um, from the one screw being too tight. Final, fourth and final screw. So you can tighten this fourth screw all the way down tight and then go directly across from that screw and tighten down the second screw, then the third screw, and then finally the fourth screw. So once you have the diff together, I always like to hold the ring gear, turn the out drive, make sure everything's free, nothing feels like it's binding, everything feels really smooth, and then you're ready to install this into your Mugen MBX7R Nitro Buggy.